In this short video tutorial, I'll be showing you some of the basics of how to use the Foxit PDF tool. The Foxit PDF editor will allow you to edit existing PDFs, even if they were created, using an Adobe Acrobat tool. So, I have one here from our friends in DASA Finance. This is the Large Purchase Requisition Request Form. And you'll notice that I can fill this out using the default editor right here in Mac OS, which is preview. There we go. And we're editing that. So we know it has good compatibility. We know the form information has stuck around. Now let's see what happens when we open that using right click, open with, and the Foxit PDF editor. Okay, here we are. We can still fill this out by clicking on the form fields. Okay, great. So we have a tool that we can work with. Now let's try to edit something. And here's where we run into an issue. We notice that all of our edit text fields are grayed out and we can't use them. So the next thing that we need to do is make this a format that we can edit. And to do that, we're actually gonna convert this file to a Word document. And we can see now that we have a valid Word file. And to do that, all we had to do was click Convert to MS Office, pick Word, and then tell it where we wanted to save it. Now we have a Word document that we can edit here. And I think the only change I really want to make here is to say that this is uh, needs to be left aligned because it looked a little funny when it wasn't left aligned. That was it. I'm going to hit save and close it out. Okay. That doesn't solve the problem of being able to edit it in the PDF editor. And so what we'll need to do next is actually convert that back to a PDF using the from file. So we find our Word document and click Open. You'll be prompted with an opportunity to use the online service or the local service. I recommend using the local service. I think it does a nice job of it. And here we are. Now, when I go into Edit, I can edit text. And you'll see all the text that I'm able to edit in here. So let's change this last update. All I have to do is click at the text, and I'm going to say 8-12-2022. Awesome. So now I've been able to edit our text. And I might even want to resize this or move it. So I can take this and kind of move it around. And let's say I want to change this a little bit. And I can change that just a hair. Now we got it. Okay, perfect. So we've made some edits, but this is no longer a form. So what are we gonna do? Let's click on the form tab. And from here, we're gonna click run form field recognition. And this is going to inspect the file and look for the areas where it thinks that there is a form field present. Click okay, here we are. You'll notice that it did find a number of areas where there are form fields, but now we can fill this out as we could before. Let's just make sure that it's everywhere where we want to see a form field. And so it looks good with the exception of, is there a price per unit you don't want to exceed? So let's talk about how to add and edit form fields. And from the form tab, you have a selection of form field types that you can use. Just by hovering, you can see what those types are and we need a text field. So I'm gonna click on the text field, and then I'm just gonna draw in where I want this form field to be. And I'm gonna give it a name, and I'm gonna say price not exceed. And I can make that required if I want to. I can also do some other interesting things. I can also go into all properties, and I can change the appearance by setting the font size. I can also change the position of it, but in this case, I wanna change the format to a number format that will automatically add a dollar sign in two decimal places, okay? When I'm done editing, come back out, let's give it a little test. Let's say 2,500, 
and there it gets converted it to the correct format. So that's very handy. Some of these form fields are different heights and sizes, and so that looks a little strange. And we can click back on that form field, that text field editor, and we can resize these as we see fit. It won't affect the functionality, but it might make it look a little bit nicer. And so that's something that we can do. And we can also go in and let's say we want to make sure there's plenty of space for this to be filled out. I'm going to make this a 10 point font field and hit close. And now when I come back out and I type in here, that's only going to be 10 point font instead of a much larger font like you might see in the OUC field uh, where it's larger. Okay, and I want to share this. So all I need to do at this point, once I've finished making all of my edits, uh, I can come in and click on the disk icon for save. And I'm going to call this Keats saved version. And let's save that to our desktop. Okay, and there it is on the desktop. Let's go ahead and we're going to edit this one uh, with preview first. And you'll notice that we can fill this out. I left these fields filled in here, which is why they saved. If I wanted to have a clean version, I can come back in here and delete this. Let me show you another useful little tool that's built in here. Let's say you're testing your form and making sure that everything is good. And you don't want to have to empty everything field by field. If you click on form and then click reset form, and yes, this will actually clear the form out for you. And then we're just going to save this one more time. Okay. And now let's open that again. And notice we now have a, a clean and empty version. And I can fill this in. Okay. So let's take a look and see if we can edit this in Adobe Reader. Okay. And there we go. We even see our little formatting field work the way it was supposed to work as we set it up inside of our document. And if we come down to the bottom, we'll see that the text that we saved for 8-12-2022 is all there. And there you have it. That's how you can use the Foxit PDF editor tool to convert and edit documents that may only have existed in Adobe previously for which you don't have a source file yet still need to be form fields and how to add, edit, resize, and change the format of the fields quickly and easily from within Foxit.